Sean, hang on. I I'll get you out. What are you doing here? You're supposed to be dead! Dead! It's over, Shelby. Your evil little game is gonna come to an end. You're gonna spend the rest of your life rotting away in jail. You're the only one who knows who I am. And I'm gonna make sure that you'll never talk. You can't let the kid die, Scott. He's not responsible for what happened to you. Only his father can save him. For years, I hoped a father would sacrifice himself to save his son. Every time they failed, it was as if my brother dies again. nothing harder than not being loved by your parents. You must have been very brave. It wasn't bravery. It was love. I held John's hand while he was drowning. Your father was an alcoholic. He was just some poor guy who was so messed up with alcohol that he couldn't save his son. You know nothing about what happened, you hear me? Nothing. He never cared. We were just something to beat on. A punching bag for his filthy anger. He let my brother die. I know what you went through, Scott. You lost your twin brother. He was the only one who understood you. The only one you could talk to. John and I were like one person. When he died, it was like a part of me died with him. You've killed all these people, Scott. And for what? Nothing. Just to ease your pain. It has to stop now. It won't make your pain go away. You don't understand. Yeah. Ow. Yeah. Oh.
There was general relief this morning when the police announced that they had found Sean Mars alive more than four days after his disappearance. Mars had been imprisoned in a well by the man known as the Origami Killer. And news of a happy ending tonight as police commended the courage and tenacity of Madison Page, a reporter covering the Origami Killer story. Miss Page was a critical factor in the successful resolution of this case. Our main headline today, it is reported that the police have identified the man thought to be the origami killer. Scott Shelby, 48, is a former police lieutenant who claimed to be a private eye hired by the families of the killer's victims. Shelby was killed during a massive police operation, but further details have not yet been released to the public. You're free to go. Dad! Sean has been waiting to see you for weeks. I thought you might like him to be here as soon as you got out. Ethan, I, uh, I'm sorry. I promise you'll never leave me again, Dad. 
I promise, son. I never will again. Our next guest is rumored to be about to receive a Pulitzer Prize for her remarkable series of investigative articles about the origami killer case. Showing incredible courage, her daring intervention led to the arrest of the country's most wanted criminal and saved the life of a little boy. This evening, I welcome a woman who might well be the true definition of a heroine for the ages, Madison Page. Good evening. Thank you for agreeing to talk with us. Now, you've been described as being both determined and tenacious. Two qualities, no doubt, that were needed to see you through the dark hours of this unbelievable story. Were you afraid at any time? Thank you, Miss Page. I really admire you for what you've done. Thank you. Uh, for John, please. We need more journalists like you, Miss Page. It's a good thing you were there to catch that bastard. Thank you. What's your name? Vincent. Excellent investigation, Miss Page. You are one brave lady. You deserve a better adversary. Somebody more ferocious. Are you sure you've thought this through, Norman? You've got a promising career ahead of you. It's a pity that... With all due respect, sir, I'm done thinking. I need to lead something like a normal life. I've just got a bit too close to everything recently. I need to step back. At least for a while. Will you be coming back to the FBI? I don't know. I'm making no promises. You can keep your Ari if you like. This one's going offline. There's a new model due next month. I... I think you better take it back. It's just a little too compelling and, uh... Well, it won't help me where I'm going. The real world. Whatever you want. I hope you find what you're looking for, Norman. I hope so, too. <laughs> 